Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back. We're going to finish off our picture in Ava Brown's Grayscale uh, Chibi Girls 2. There's not a bit lot left now. Just the, the background and uh, some of the cupcakes and stuff, so uh, we'll start with that. How are you? That's what I want to say. Um, I'm okay, I'm not too bad. Been busy, but uh, okay. So today I had the day off work. And I was, I was going to say I was colouring, which I was technically. I was painting Jennifer's bedroom, and I've done two walls. I because last time I did the four walls all in one day when I put the base coat on, and to be honest, it crippled my hands for three or four days. They were I was in agony. I still had to uh, work and type and do all that stuff, uh, but it was very painful. So I decided I'm not doing that this time. I'm going to. I took four days off, thinking I'll do it some Tuesday and then I'll finish it Thursday. And that gives me two days on Wednesday and Friday to do other things, so like eBay, um, making videos. I almost made a video, almost did this video after I finished it, but I was just, my back was hurting and I thought I can't hunch over. I have ordered a desk for this spare bedroom. There is just enough room where the box with the TV is, so I might be able to film on there. It's for work, really. Um, I might be able to film on there instead. I'll have to try it and see what happens. Um, so I've ordered that, so that should be coming Friday. I'm hoping like I said, I'll finish her room Thursday and then um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, put a big bed up properly on Saturday. Her mattress is coming Saturday and um, I've got her sheets and her first duvet cover coming this week as well and I've got a couple more colouring books coming as well and then I think that's probably going to have to be about it for the month because I've got so many I have got tons of them it's unreal how many colouring books I've got I mean obviously because I had my bonus and I already had you know World of Wonder ordered so I think there's one more book I might order I'd forgotten about, but we'll have to see. And uh, I'm talking quietly because Jennifer did not want to go to sleep tonight. She fell asleep this afternoon. We were watching TV and I was feeling a bit tired from all the, the painting and stuff. And she just, she fell asleep on me. And she was asleep for a good while and then we put her to bed and she wanted to get up because she said she was hungry so we gave her something to eat and then she was we put her back to bed she didn't want to go and then she started kicking off because she didn't want to go to bed um yeah so it was a bit i mean i literally i came up here to do this at about half past nine she was still awake so i i went in I put her light back on because she turned it off and then we had I said do you want to cuddle we had a quick cuddle and I said are you gonna go to sleep now and she went yeah and she's been quiet to be fair since so I'm hoping you can't see what I'm doing because I've pushed the book down too far so I'm hoping that she's she's asleep now but that's why I'm talking kind of quietly because if she hears me she'll probably yell yell for me again just I understand that she if she's awake, she wants to see her mama. But I do need her to sleep. Because otherwise she'll be grumpy tomorrow and she won't listen to them at nursery and do all that, so. Uh, I enjoyed painting a room. It's a, it is, it's a lot of exercise because I'm not very fit and I don't do anything a lot of decorating. Um, generally, if we can, we get with somebody to do it for us. But uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to. Uh, I like these markers actually. 
to do that. I've, I mean, I've got a lot of filming still to do, which I need. I can't really do until night time when everybody's in bed. And I'd rather do it up here, so maybe I'll be able to do my wall colouring up here once I've got the, the desk set up. It's got um, some cubbies and it's got a shelf at the bottom to put stuff on, which is great. I mean, the idea is that I'll be able to not necessarily have to pack my laptop for work up every day. I mean, I can still colour on the bed if I want to and do stuff like that. Or downstairs. It's just... I'm trying to keep it all in one place rather than have it, it, loads of stuff upstairs, loads of downstairs, which is what I've got at the moment. So most of it's up here, but there's still a fair bit downstairs. And I've got some of it in a bag. I guess I have a kind of... What is that? Oh, it's a bit more of the icing, isn't it? I do have a colouring bag. It's just a supermarket big tote thing. And I I do use it, so but I've also got my Mozart stuff down there that I'm trying to work with and all that stuff, but it's very hard because it's having the time. So I'm going to do this a different yellow. This is um, a darker yellow. It should be a darker yellow. It's supposed to be sunflower. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel a bit dodgy actually. It's not good. I'll be alright in a minute. It is hard. It's very hard sometimes to, to do stuff and I want to do it, but by the time I've set it all up downstairs, I feel... I don't want to. This, after, this evening I spent ages printing up the the latest Ava Brown one, which is Beautiful Birds, and it's very nice. It's not something I would have normally... but I would probably wouldn't have bought it myself. Um, it would be one of the last ones I would consider buying, but there's some really nice ones. I've picked a nice one to do. So that's my one for tomorrow for the review, and I post it on Insta and everything. And you know, because they're talking about cleaning the house of the people who don't, that aren't doing it. Now I am doing it, but if they take me off, I'd be a bit disappointed, but in a way I'd also be relieved, but uh, I wouldn't have to print off everything every month, but every week, but I, I'd probably miss out on some really good books. You know, and I, I do, I like the Ava Brown books, I think they're lovely. So I don't really want to not be um, on the team. I do like it, so I'm just having a quick look for the right colour. Show <sighs> a carmine, which is number 11. So I'm just going to colour these berries in red here. I can't see that one because it's this one over here. It's here. I hope you're all alright and you're all enjoying yourself. I mean, I am watching your videos. Don't think that I'm not, just don't comment on them. My problem is I watch them on my big TV and not on my um, phone. I very rarely watch things on my phone. So I don't actually have the option to comment so I must I, I have to actually literally try and go on my phone at the same time to do it otherwise I forget because I'm not very good at remembering in fact I think I will do those that colour as well so some little things here I'm nearly finished just a little background to go so I'm not going to do the stars yellow. I'm going to actually do those a red colour. I like light to red colour. What's number 15? 15 is really bright according to that. It's really dark according to that. It's geranium. Um, 14 then. Where if I can find it? There it is. And I want a nice blue. But not too dark obviously. because the, I've lost my swatch cards. Where's it gone?
there it is. It's not the one I want anyway, so that must be here. Oh, there it is. There's the blues. And I know I used that very light pastel or turquoise. I think... 65. I'll start at the bottom and then I'll do the stars later. So, yeah, I mean, it's all about just trying to get Jennifer room, Jennifer's room nice and sorted and I'm going to colour in some dinosaur pictures. I've got the Jade Summer Dinosaur Book for Kids. Um, just some simple dinosaur pictures. I'm going to cut them out of the book and frame them. But they're going to be frames that I can use again so that if she gets... she can change the pictures as and when and then I'll just then put those ones in my colouring folder with the cover so I'll cut those out of the book which is not something I normally would do but I don't mind with that one so this isn't a very good blue actually what colour is it? I forgot what colour it was 65 ah oh, nice blue yeah, it's alright though. It's darker than that one, which is the main thing, which was the pastel blue. I mean, sometimes you just... You just don't know, do you? So... so I, haven't, I have been reading, but it has slowed down a bit, so... I mean, I've got a load of books to put on my Kindle, uh, on my Goodreads. I haven't done it yet. I might do that after I finish this get it up to date and then I'll update my file. I mean it's, it's not even the 15th of the month yet to be fair so I'm not too worried about that. So. It's tiring. Life is tiring. <laughs> Oh, I haven't done in that bit yet. I've got to do there, that's fine. I'll do that as well. But yeah, it's been okay. It's just been... As I said, I was in work yesterday and then I had today off and painted two walls of her room, which didn't take long. And I then came in, my back was hurting, so I came in here. I didn't want to stir Paul because he was, had a very busy day at work today. Um, so I came in here to watch some TV and uh, fell asleep, which I tend to do. I did have a shower and dry my hair first though, so that's something. Because let's be honest, I was so sweaty and horrible after doing that. So. Oh, so it'd be nice when it's done. You'll be able to see progress in the weekly vlog. She, I, I did promise her that we would move her bed she doesn't like being by the window because she doesn't like the sound of the cars going past it scares her up a bit I have to turn it this way so she gets a bit scared so I like being by the window I mean I don't know why she finds the cars scary they're outside they can't get to her I always used to be scared of trees when I was her age, so I can't shout. Can I? Let's be honest. <laughs> I was a weird one I was when I grew up. When I was growing up. So. I got such a huge colouring book collection and I, I and this morning I, just, I was looking at stuff and I was like what's the point I'm not colouring in half of them but I like the choice I never have trouble really picking a page because I think right, I fancy a pattern oh I'll do one in this book and if it's not a pattern I want to do then I'll, I'll pick a different book if it's a picture I think well do I want to colour a woman do I want to colour animals or flowers do i want fantasy do i want gothic do i want 
princesses. Do I want kawaii and chibi? I love colouring. It is so, so relaxing. And I really, really enjoy it. You know, just... I just sit there and I... I no worries and I can just lie in bed or sit in bed or sit on the sofa I can have the TV on or I can listen to music sometimes I like, I've been listening to Spotify lately and it's quite nice to listen to some music I've not heard before so I've been listening to John Coltrane I also listen to stuff I normally listen to, like Judy Garland, and I've, I just listen to whatever I fancy at the time. Like I colour whatever I fancy. That's why I don't make plans. I really admire these people who make plans for the month. And I'm going to colour in. Uh, these are the books I want to colour in. I can think that those are the books I want to colour in, but I won't pull them out and say what I'm definitely going to. I mean, my biggest thought this morning was I was doing so well at clearing my shelf, and now it's going to be full again of uh, books I haven't coloured in because I've obviously had a huge collection of them today. The shelf with the PDFs on is nearly full, though I do want to colour in one of those tonight if I get a chance. I'll watch a bit of TV before I go to sleep because I said I'm not worrying too much about having a late night because I can always have a kip in the morning after I've done my job. So tomorrow's job is to... Um, I'm going to be photographing some eBay, so I've got some non-clothing and some clothing to... I've got a lot of clothing. I've got a lot of non-clothing, but I've only got a little bit up here, so I'm going to photograph some of that non-clothing and get that um, up, because I can I can actually do that after, after I, you know... So I take the photographs and I can actually get it uh, drafted after I've finished doing all the eBay and I'm having a chill because my plan is I'm not gonna kill myself doing it I my plan is to photograph as much as I can yeah absolutely and I've got cameras and, and games and sort of odd stuff that needs to be photographed and I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna try and, and, and I'll put it in a big bag to go down to the the shed and then I'll, I'll start photographing the clothing and I'll put their measurements and numbers on uh, I, I want to do about two and a half hours so from eight till half ten maybe and then I might sit and colour uh, or I might have a sleep if I feel tired it, it does depend on on how how bad I feel how tired I feel um, after doing it because it's even though it's just photographing stock and measuring it's quite physical really because I'm up and down I've got to set the lights up and but that's my plan and it doesn't matter if I get, <clears throat> I, only, I only want to list, start listing five a day. So the more I can photograph, the better over the next couple of days. Um, because then I've got some worked up and I can get them listed. I can get them drafted and listed. I've got to sort my phone out because I've got so many photos on my phone that I don't want to keep. That They're, they're just ones I've taken, like some of my colourings. Like the PDFs, I'm taking photographs as I do them and putting them in my folder on my Facebook. I've done a couple from some of the other books, but not many. I know which ones. It's uh, the plan was to try and do it every new book. Let me just move this out of the way. A little tab. Because if, if I can do it all the new books, then every time I pick up another one to colour, so say for instance, if I pick up Hannah Carl's and Seasons, I am colouring one in there. I can see about I'll photograph all of these now, and then that can go back on the shelf. And what I might do is I might get a specific tab for colouring books that have had their, um, they've been photographed. And then if, as I colour a next picture in it, if I've done that book, I just photograph that one picture. And put it in my album. The only ones I'm not worrying too much about Jade Summer because there's so many of them. 
they will be done but I'm thinking of putting them into an album on the Jade Summer page as well so while I've probably done I think I've done one or two because it's the PDF I can always re-photograph those later for the Jade Summer file um, on their group but. I mean, it's like some people laugh at colouring for adults, but yet yeah, mental health providers actually do recommend it because it's very relaxing and it forces your mind to focus on something other than you, your worries. There's even Paul, when he's had a colour, he doesn't colour very often. <clears throat> if he gets really stressed this week, I might get the book he was working in and say, here you are, get them pens out, use Jennifer's pens and finish that picture off. And he, when he was doing one picture, even though he, I think he's done two and he's he's on his third, he he said he couldn't, he, he was so busy concentrating on what he was doing, he totally forgot all of the worries he had for that day. So, it's good. But, uh, I enjoy it, because I'm quite an artistic person anyway, usually theatrically wise. But, because there's no theatres open at the moment and I can't get to one to even watch. I do like to watch theatre as well. It's another way of being artistic and expressing yourself, you know, in colours. And I, you know, sometimes do things in really random colours. And sometimes I don't. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I've nearly finished this one. And I've enjoyed this book. And I've got I've got a few Ava Brown books. Not not just not just the the PDFs that I'm getting from the launch team, uh, which I'm very happy to be able to do at the moment. And if they take me off, they take me off. I'm not going to worry about it. But I am doing my best. Um, I have bought several. Obviously, I bought this one, and I've got beautiful. Beautiful Women, I think. I, don't know, I think it's Beautiful Women. And I want Beautiful Dresses Grey Scale as well, because that looks like a nice one. But I do like colouring other things as well. I don't want to just do Ava Brown. And if they're releasing books weekly, sometimes, I mean, I try, I'd like, I like to try and colour one or two pictures, but I'm finding I'm only getting a chance to colour one because they're releasing them so quickly. And believe me, I am not complaining because I like having them. Like I said, the beautiful birds book, it's stunning. The birds are beautiful. I wouldn't have bought that. It would have been it would have gone to the back of the list. Not because then the pictures aren't beautiful, because they are, but I don't I'm not big on colouring animals. Though I am gonna colour in one of the peacocks because I think he's beautiful. And I would like to, to colour it in. Um but it doesn't tell you what all the birds are, so um, I'm one of those people who just does like to try and colour things fairly realistically. So that one goes in there, I believe. Yep. Now, what colour do I want for that? Now, I think I will use lie one, two, seven. It's in here. There it is. It's just a little. Oh, we've got all out of focus. There's a little bit just here in between these the cupcake flaps lie is not a very good colour on this <laughs> there we go and I've got my red and I'm going to do the stars in red because you know what it's my book and I can do what the heck I like <laughs> so this isn't going to be as long because um, we've only got to do the stars and then we're finished. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been fun. I don't know what I'm colouring in next. I will have a good look at what I've got on the go. I'm trying to finish off the whips, but I'm never, ever get a chance because I'm already doing something else or I want to start another picture. But I have been working on a Beauty of Horror, one of those two. I've got two whips in, one, in, in two of their books. Two of those books, the Alan Roberts books. So I am, 
I am working on finishing the one of them. It's a long way off yet, but I am working on it. I was doing it in the garden the other day, so I'm hoping I might get to do a bit more on that soon. It's downstairs in my bag there, but I've also got Worlds of Wonder in there. Um, and what else? I've got a pocket colouring book from, oh, what's it? Uh, Relax with Art. I've got one nearly finished in there. And I've got some PDF pages from the Ava Brown books. I've got, I've got to do some uh, more PDFs because my pile of PDF pages is so thick now on the shelf that I'm not going to get many more on there. I don't think I'll get all of this month's books on there. So I will have to have a look at what's on there and see what I fancy colouring. Not just from Ava Brown. I've got Jade Summer up there. I've got some Hannah Lynn. I've got some Selena Fennec. I've got a load of Deborah Muller. I think I've got some Deborah Muller printed. Molly Harrison. And that's not all of them. I've got folders and folders of images from various artists on my computer. There's some Colouring Heaven ones up there. Sometimes you just think, what the hell have I got on the go? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It is it is very difficult to whoops to know what you're doing sometimes. That's the only thing I don't like about it is it's very hard to get into the uh the edge, especially when you're left-handed. There we go. <clears throat> that is actually finished. So I am gonna call it there. It's not even quite 30 minutes, but that's okay. So let's zoom out and have a look at our little chibi grayscale from Ava Brown there she is <laughs> I just think that she's gorgeous it is the cover page but I do like my version so I hope you've enjoyed this very short colouring chart I will try and do another one later on this week I'm just not sure what really not sure what I'm gonna do but I have got so many books I think I might do one from Colour in Heaven, either Fairy Tales or the new Stingpunk one. I haven't decided yet. Let me know what one you want me to colour in. Do you want Fairy Tales by Fabiana Atanasio or do you want the Steampunk book which came out this month? Let me know in the comments below and I'll happily, happily colour in either of those books. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.